Okay, so I've been sitting over here for, I don't know, <laughs> since the last Chinaberry one, because this was going to be the other half of it. This has been like this since then. I've been trying to dry it. Piff is still in it, but not, not much of it. it. Does have cracks? It is off balance. I intend to fill these cracks with the the black star bond once I get it to round ish. <laughs> so we'll see from there. I can only run it like uh, I think it's 800. Okay, so uh, 850. And you can see we got a little bit of wobble. Now that's past the wobble. <laughs> it was really bad about 500. Let's make this go away here real quick. And Can it be really small? <laughs> to it. I think I'm going to give me a rim, cut it in, and then down to a, a foot. When we get close, I'll fill these in. I was hoping most of them would go away, but we're just going to have black stripes in it. I remember to turn the camera on. Fill that with some black stuff. What did you guys do with it? <laughs> All right, so the Star Bond medium thick black super type glue. Oh, that don't want to come out. Man, this might take a minute. <laughs> All right, well, y'all get the idea. I'm gonna get the rest of it done. And we'll come back after that. All right, so I'm like, why can't I get a better cut than that? 850 RPMs, that's why. Uh, I never sped it back up. <laughs> so I removed the tailstock. I'm gonna take this down some because it's sticking up too high. And put my mortise in and then see if I can clean this up. This was all punky, so why not? Hit it with black. Got these all filled with black, hopefully. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how far they went, but I'll try to get a better, a smoother cut on this with the RPMs up a little higher. We're running at 1250 now.
more better except for my ridges <laughs> and my little catch up there but that's okay because I wanted to go that way with it and we'll see what happens well, y'all can't see from over there uh, if I can get you over here so you can see That's not cool. <laughs> Apparently, that ain't dry yet. That's great. How do I get it out of there? <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna give that a bit and we'll come back to this. All right, so I uh, fixed that. Left to sit for a few hours or so. Uh, gotta love the black spots up my monitor over there. <laughs> so we're gonna give this a go again. I don't remember the other one having a spalting in it like this. It's kind of cool. Alright, I'm gonna get this sanded up. We'll go through all the grits anyways. I got some lines I need to get out. Tool marks anyways. Uh, I'm gonna sand through my grits. We'll come back in when I put the sealer and all that on. Hey, right, so I sanded up to 220. Uh, this apparently is a lot softer because it's got like flat spots from sanding. So if you look at it, it looks wobbly now. <laughs> and I don't think it moved. I think I just sanded it off. And I can feel that. But we're going to apply the sanding sealer. Sand it again. Apply some more sanding sealer. Scribble my name in it. I really like how red that turns. And of course, you know, I got to put some shine juice on it. It's just how I am. Just don't have enough. Yeah, I can really see it wobble. It just sanded off. I, <laughs> I wasn't trying to sand it off. It just came right off.
Ha <laughs> ha! A few more coats. Looks really good. Kind of want to fill in all the little little spots in between the grains where there's a bunch of little holes. We'll come back when it's all flipped over. Okay, since since apparently I forgot to turn on the camera, uh, I've already removed that. <laughs> and the curls were coming off so nice. Y'all missed it. See if I can try it again. <laughs> so now that the heater's all done, try to repair some of these from this side before we get too far. I'm gonna need to take it off to do this. I don't you want to bet it's running out the other side? That'd really make me angry. <laughs> that is not what I want it to be doing. Oh, I don't see none. Well, maybe a little bit. Feels like it. I can give that a quick sand on the other side and then shine it up again. All right, so what do we got here? That one, that one, that one. And I think all we got left is that one. That one right there. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave that dry for quite a while. Last time it was like an hour or so and it got wet. All right, so um, I left it for a while till tomorrow <laughs> I did touch up a little bit here and filled in some of the chunks that were missing and hopefully it's dried up now I got to go in a little bit a little bit deeper in the center but not much I'm just gonna try to clean everything up with a scraper from here out get it sanded and finished up hopefully it stays together when I get up here so it's, it's like except for you guys might be in the way in the are see I may have to raise my tool rest and move you guys out of my way. I have to be honest, I can smell that glue. I don't, I don't see any. I can smell it though. I got a lump right there. And it's right where there's a dull spot. I'm gonna go sharpen this. And we'll get back after that right there and right there the rest is okay that's more better <laughs> all right let me get that sanded up i'll get this all sanded up and we'll come back in with the sanding sealer I got a chunk right there i got a little bit sticking out through these this crack pretty much a quick sanding on everything and depth sanding in there and i'll be back maybe if i put that up there the right way a little bit of myelin sanding sealer About that much.
Whiskey. Yep, you know it. Shine juice. I accidentally pushed the button too many times. <laughs> Look at that shine. All right, so I'll uh, put a link for Captain Eddie's shine juice over there. I get a lot of questions on it, so uh, like I said, I, I, I'll put it up, 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 up there in the corner. On how to make it, it's not real hard. Three equal parts. I do uh, run this a little faster than he does in his videos. It seems to work better for me that way. He tends to run it slow and does a lot of a lot of this at a slower speed. I mean, you know, that's three coats in that short amount of time. I'll be back when I put some more on it. We'll talk about it over there. Can you all see the sticker board? <laughs> no stickers this week. Anyways, there is my China Berry Bowl. All right. My pole barn in the bottom. Uh, I missed a few spots in the, in the filling with the CA, but it works pretty well, I think. And it actually looks, you can see there's a spot right there. Right there. Oh, oh, I saw it when the light went by. Huh. It it works well with the spalting, so it doesn't. It's not off, you know. <laughs> um, you see how the shine juice works? Super good. I love it. So yeah. There you go. Um, I kind of run out of dry wood. <laughs> Everything's wet. I am going to get back into doing the resin. I got a couple other ones that I purchased the wood, but it's going to have some resin in it. But other than that, give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down. I don't know what else to say. I, I had a whole list and gone. Anyways, so we'll see you all next week. <laughs>